There it is. This is my 2000 WS6 Trans Am. LS1. Feels like it's got a little something something to it. I don't know if it's just a tune or if it's just a what, but hey, you know what? We're gonna pull her all apart, get the engine and trains out. She's got a clunk in the back end of her. I think a bushing's gone or something like that. Possibly a broken somewhat something. Dealy Bob, Dealio, take your pick. There it is, LS1. We had all kinds of, we got the old school Pontiac Ram air here. Gives you an extra few horsepower. It really looks pretty good. Car came from California. It's like the first science experiment to go. What is this thing? <laughs> it's an air filter. Anyway. Oh yeah, she's a little dirty under there. Car came from California. So it's uh, rust free and all that good stuff. But yeah, we'll get working on this thing and It's coming right along, you know, got a little delayed, you know, had some stuff going on. Got to fix that up, but uh, registration opens for Rocky Mountain Race Week on the 22nd. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, engine's about to come out. And then, off to the machine shop it'll go. You can see, we're up on jack stands. Getting her ready, you know, working. I gotta tell you. <laughs> Building a race car, is that a cage coming? It's got to have a 25.5 cert cage in it. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> working without a lift is about as much fun as you'd expect. So, making good progress. I mean, it's all free, it's all out. So, today the engine's coming out. My pile of parts there. Uh, don't know what to do with those, probably just sell them. But yeah, like I said, pretty good progress. It's free, it's ready to pull out. Um, obviously that's going to be, you know, we got, still got this little whack of a do here. Uh, it should be all right. Probably going to bust my hand, bust my leg, drop my foot, drop it on my foot or something. I don't know. Well, let's get this party started. Engine's ready to come out, but unfortunately our jack, our engine hoist, cherry picker, whatever you want to call it, was not up to the task. Blown seals, look at all that hydraulic fluid. So... So, we made us a trip to the Hobo Freight, and we got one of those. So, we're going to do a little replacement, and then we'll be right on with it. So, a lovely update. I bought the wrong jack. So, now i got to go back to Harbor Freight. I bought the flat bottom one when I should have had the round bottom one. Ugh! Alright, so obviously back from Harbor Freight. We got the correct jack. It's all up in there. We're getting ready to tear some stuff out. And just like that, we have us an extra rare chicken. Ooh, this chicken needs to be washed. Look at all that. Uh, uh, floor dry. <laughs> so, there it is. LS1, 4L60E. You know, everything was in really good condition. It ran really good. Had a little over 100,000 100, miles on it. I think it was like 107. Um, be going up for sale. So, if anyone's interested, let me know. Um, other than that, uh, you got one sweaty, dirty dude here, and that's how we get that done. So right now, we're checking it out. Good night. All right, so... I, I, Y'all remember when I said, oh man, we're gonna put an LS1 in this bad girl. <sighs> Wrong. <laughs> so this is a Gen 6 454 out of a 98 truck. 
and uh There is absolutely no replacement for displacement. No, I get it, you know. Let me walk over here. You know, we got the LS1, 346 cubic inches, 4L60 transmission, which is junk. Um, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna strip it all down, send it off to the machine shop, get it cleaned up, honed, aligned board, decked, checked, you name it. And then it's getting a turbo 400. Uh, things just escalated.